part of the population, they, they really, they like to walk. They like to use their bikes. This is how our bike lanes have looked like for quite some time. CoastalBendInMotion.com shows most homes in the urbanized area of Noises and San Patricio counties are within a two to five minute bike ride from a designated bike lane. The bike club team life cyclers ride almost every day for sport, 20 to 25 miles a day. They say they do face some challenges. Occasionally there will be walkers or runners in there. Those new green sidewalk bike lanes, those are not a good deal. Those are no goes. According to data from Coastal Bend in Motion last updated five years ago, the network of bike lanes in the area will leave 89% of cyclists within a five minute walk from schools and daycare centers. This is why Dorothy Atkins is a meeting spot for Team Life Cyclers. You can't not be riding on the sidewalk doing, you know, 15 to 20 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour with people riding two, walking two feet from you. New numbers from TxDOT show that in Corpus Christi, there were 51 traffic crashes involving a bicyclist and 99 traffic crashes involving pedestrians. We have five years worth of money, including money right now, plus the next four years, and that adds up to about a $4 million call for projects. The Corpus Christi Metropolitan Planning Organization says it has federal funding that will allow them to identify the areas that need the most work in the next five to six weeks. So where do we need the, the bike trails or the, the on-street bike system to continue? We're looking to add more users, uh, whether it's the, the disabled community. In the meantime, cyclists as drivers for one thing. Let us have fun and let us enjoy our ride and kind of like move over a little bit or slow down.